So, a while ago, I had grabbed this to escape from something or other. Now, I have a Zion Cabriolet, let us say. But I'm not sure if I want to keep a coupe or not. It is still the fastest coupe because the coupe's class gets no love. No love from Rockstar. It's like they haven't added a coupe in, I don't know, did they ever add a coupe? Now, that's gonna cause money. But I want to see how much how much customization I can do. Can I make this look like something? Otherwise, I'm just going to sell the puppy, really. Why am I getting huge frame drops? And let's head in here. But, whoa, what the heck? It all just magically appears. What miracle did you want me to perform? Well, I don't know. Having your whole place just magically appear in front of me probably has to count for something. 100% guaranteed. Okay, the hood. We could have, like, the hood or the same hood. Only made with blacker stuff. Um, roll cage. We can add one. Roof. Carbon roof. Spoiler. We can spoiler it out. Let's get a respray. There's only one color. You know what I'm thinking? How much is it worth? Six grand. Yeah, it's, it's not worth having the spot. My garage space is simply too valuable. And it's not like I don't have this. Look familiar? I've had this so long, I was, this was back in the days when I was actually going with kind of a black theme, you know, with the whole black night thing, but it does work. <coughs> Maybe, you know, like an actual red light. Let's take the red light, pop the top. Alright, I'm just sitting here at a red light. Yeah, right, right. You know, I shot that car in the fender. Why is the person head down on the horn? He's getting rear ended? And that was. It's an incendiary round on a minor pistol. I had this in storage for the longest time down on, like, what was it? Greenwich Parkway garage where there's this stuff that doesn't get used as much. But now that I have a little bit more garage space, I don't know. This seems like a good arcade kind of car. Well, you know, it's an old one. It's still got the the roughy... Uh, they changed the tread on these. It used to be much lumpier. It's just, you know, has the off-road wheels. But now the off-road wheels, I mean, they used to be... Used to look like mud tires off of a monster truck. Now they just look like, you know, maybe like, you know, just some Bridgestone Blizzard or something like that. They're much less aggressive, but they still have the same effect. It does make the car more attractive. In my own opinion. A little less silly. So well, let's bring this up. Interesting, I parked it with the top back up. That's that's neat. But here we have a nice, nice, you know, just keep one of my favorite cars. It is like an old fave. You gotta have a car here. I mean, you know.
Why not? Okay. We've scoped everything out. What happens if we have to scope again? We've already scoped it. Okay, not a bad idea to cast your eye over the place again. I'm sure there are other points of interest we can identify. No, there aren't. I, just I figured you would actually be sophisticated enough. And I can't get my car now. Are you serious? This stuff's blowing up. We have to get there. Yo, what's up? Just to complete the scope. To scope it and then unscope it. Well, that, that was an interesting experiment. I'm getting a lot of these. What the heck is going on here? Those incendiaries don't seem to do anything against uh, the vehicles. Yes, it's started a little fire. And it's an enter and leave kind of thing. Yeah, you know, it said scoping completed. I think I've got all the approaches. I think we're good. Now I guess it wouldn't be realistic. To for have Lester tell you, you've already seen everything, because how can he know, really, if you've seen everything? I mean, maybe you've seen everything, or maybe you're confident you've seen everything. You have filled all the boxes in, but how can you know? There's not some other super secret kind of funky thing. So, all right, I guess that makes logical sense. Okay, so what's vault contents? Okay, here we go. Let's find out what's in that vault. First, we need someone with the right login credentials for their security system. I've tracked the rough location of a member of Duggan's security team using his phone signal. Head over there and find him. Okay, now you're supposed to be able to do this. And in, you know, basically a closed session, but... My helicopter's in the roof. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. Who cares? It's on the way. I'm gonna do it in a public session. Why? Cause it was I was in one. You know, when you try to change out, does it work all the time? No. So let's see how this goes. See me at the club tomorrow. Why can't you look where you're going, stupid? Um, you know, I do have machine guns. Careful what you call still. I'm just saying. Go to Legion Square. This did seem like you know the proper way to take the shortcut. really plan on doing a casino prep, but it's like, yeah, well, we're here. Search the area for the security guard. Do I have any picture of him? Is it like, do we have a text? Hey there, stranger. Totally! First of all, let us admire the tree. Pretty. I guess he'll look like a security guard, right? Are you a security guard? No.
This seems somewhat lame. I wish I could say I have to hang up, but push the end button is what we do now. There he is! I've uploaded a Seguro serve app for you to hack his phone and get those login details. Thing works well, but you'll need to stick close to get the data. Hey there, girl. Where were you last Saturday night? Hell, I was lying in jail. Yeah, I heard you were with Roy. Next time, go with my bail, okay? Bye. Excellent. That's exactly what I needed. Now head over to the casino. Can you help me out? Okay. Well, this has been low stress so far. A little bit. With bow ring, but still filled with intrigue. You'd hate for him to suddenly have every mission people just freak out and start shooting at him, right? I can see the casino from here. It's just a bright shining star on the hill here. You know, it's just great. Because if you had a shining star on a hill, probably a room on the hill would be incinerated because it'd be a star. But, you know, the whole planet would have been engulfed if there was a star on the hill. But hey, you know. Go to the casino. The c -c 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 casino. Bing. Wee. We're just gonna park like everything's normal. What do you think the odds are that this will be here when I get back? What's up, buddy? Enter the casino. Okay. Hi guys, entering the casino. I know, I know. Good fuck it, right? That is pretty much the case. So what do you think we'll get? Think we'll get the cash, the art, or the gold? Or will there be some? Okay, bring out your phone and search for a Wi-Fi signal we can piggyback on. And try not to look too conspicuous while you do it. The Diamond Casino and Resort presents a brand new car available to win today, simply with a spin of a wheel. Well, let's see, if we're really smart, we should be able to walk right up into uh, Agatha's office, and that's probably where it's best. Open. Come dress like. Well, walking the right way around. Or is it just a matter of you walk enough? System. Okay, well, he's not talking to me. Find what's in that vault and sniff around for whatever else they have tucked away down there. You might find something we can use to our advantage. Ah, what's that look like? The green stuff, huh? Yeah, it's too much currency, so we'll still need to launder it through a buyer. Shouldn't be hard, though. Head back to the arcade when you're ready.
Well, let's see what else we can find. Point of interest scoped. Okay. Hopefully this will uh, buy us something here. We're not getting any kind of commentary on this. Trying to get as many as I can. We're back in the vault. Leave the casino. So it's the cash room, which I think is the least, um, the least lucrative. Is that one? But hey, that's what you expect from the first time you do it. Leave the area. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Jump at your deluxe away. I thought you fly away now. Alrighty. Should be a phone call. Thinking. Got my helicopter stomping out the uh, the uh, the joystick on the map there, so you can't see where it's at. You have to know where you park your helicopter. No commentary. I think everybody wants to do the big con. I mean, the, the stealth one seems a little bit boring. The, the blast everybody apart seems a bit basic. The stealth one seems like you screw up your gun into the, the basic mode. I'm totally over at the next building. Don't even look for me here. stealing, it's time to choose how to steal it. We got three approaches. Each deals with security in a different way. Let's take a look. Silent and sneaky. Now, I'm not meant to have favorites, but <laughs> if you've ever seen me creeping into your bedroom and videoing you in your sleep, you'll know this one's for me. Ah! You gotta get in and out without being seen, avoiding or dealing with the guards. The big con! It's catfishing IRL. <laughs> and who doesn't like pretending there's someone else and making a mark look stupid? In this case, we're fooling casino security. Get a hold of some uniforms and walk in there like you know what you're doing. Aggressive. <laughs> this approach relies on going in hard and fast and violent and catching security on the back foot. Expect heavy resistance by the time you make your way out. Price of doing it dirty, I guess.
I, I, I think we've talked about it. Let's do the big con. Are you sure you want to use the big con? Yes. It's a con um, job. Hey, you don't exactly have the gift of the gab, but you might have the ego to pull this off. I keep thinking back to that incident you witnessed on the casino roof. If we use that guy to get in, oh boy, that'd be some story. Now the crew. We need them here at Mission Control, organizing everything with me. Gunmen. These guys will use their contacts to source some unmarked weapons. And if you've got the spare cash, it'll also help reduce the heat by causing a distraction during the getaway. The driver. They're gonna set up your getaway vehicle and a switcher car to help you lose the cops if you want to pay for one of those. Better the driver, better the cars they can help you acquire. Hackers! My tribe! <laughs> They'll determine how long you get in the vault, so choose wisely or, you know, cheaply. Your call. Okay. Okay, so we have poor, expert, good. So 9%. Considering I have no idea what I'm doing, I think we're probably going to want the best guns. Mode is the goat! Ah. Uh, mmm. Yeah. Cool. Eddie Toe. Well, this looks like there's some really funky stuff there. Like, you got motorcycles, crapola, I mean, this is a real crapola. Look, you can have a freaking... Wow, okay. I mean, why not just go... Let's just go, you know... Now, do we want to go with McCoy with the heavy duty stuff? Or do we just want to go fast? I think we go with Chester McCoy. I like the way that sounds. If this guy's done a good job for you before, I'm sure he'll find us the vehicles we need. Johan Blair. Isn't he one of the guys that works in my club? Can't get that one. And there's Paige. Harris! One of the best. She'll give you the time you'll need inside the vault. So, prep work. Let's get the Zaba first. Put away those shark cards. We need to steal decent getaway vehicles that are in no way associated with our bank accounts. Your driver will help. You want to try it? Let's do this. Like I'm guessing if you field. wanted an easy run for an easy getaway car, you wouldn't have chosen Chester as your driver, huh? Well, good. Because this is going to be a tricky one. The vehicles are surrounded by Merriweather operatives at one of their testing sites. Most likely, you'll have to go in guns blazing. I uh, can't see another way, so good luck. Well, still using the Zabra. You know, that's how you, you unlock the. Uh, trade price on the Zabra. So we have to kind of go in and do it this way. You can kind of prioritize what you want to, you know, what, what you'd use by what you want to buy eventually. The Zabra looks interesting. I can see that being on sale at some point, me wanting to be able to uh, take full advantage of that. Never mind that, I've already seen uh, a few reviews of this puppy. And the glass is largely bulletproof. 
and it can take some take a good amount of uh, explosives. So let's not worry about being gentle. Now the problem with using this in a heist is it's not very fast. So it's, it's going to be a matter of we're going to have to take off from the casino and head straight for the hills and go off-roading. But there's a lot of hills around there. That's not a bad plan. It's probably what it would do anyway. To shake the cops. It just goes as I imagine it would go. And again, I do have goals here. A bug. Whoa, what, was, what was that locking up for? And we got helicopters coming in. Whoa, what the hell happened? Oh, the helicopter. The helicopters have uh, miss miss missiles on them. Well, my personal vehicle hasn't been destroyed. I'm still being shot at. Morse Mutual Insurance, how can we help you? I can do that. And now we need to request a personal vehicle. Excuse me while I whip this out. A little payback here. Now on the plus side, that has reloaded all of our missiles. Are you trying to block me? me an ass. Pop along. Say goodbye. Oh, that's a freaking um Then we want to make sure we blow these suckers up before they start shooting missiles at us. Well, that was close. The debris was raining down on us. Okay, I think we got just about everybody, but... We have to, we're going to have to leave this puppy here for the time being. And now we get our first, uh, our first, well this is a weird kind of thing. Our first taste of the Zabra here. Oh Zabra? Got it. <laughs> get him back here and try not to bring any mercenaries with you. That's always a trick, especially since this is not a weaponized vehicle. It is. Really slow. Can we shoot from this? Yep. All right, that's an advantage. That's a big wheel, all right. No mind. 
he gets to turn somewhere. Now it's now it's, it's always saying that there's lines behind him. Another helicopter. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the best method. Of course, we are pretty pretty safe here. But you know when you're getting caught by maces. Now this is not quick. Whoa! It does well off road. Where do you customize the wheels on this? I could have sure we got that guy. Now, you might think to yourself, hey! There you go, but there's still one more to get. So we have to drive this all the way back. I think we should probably snap it up. We're all snapped up now. Wow, this is slow. It's heavy duty. We're going to leave the heist in this? Well, that will be an extra challenge. On the flip side, it looks like it's pretty well bulletproof. I think I incurred all that damage before I got into the Zaba here. Uh, let's see, can we see what's its off-road traction loss kind of thing? Good grip, but does it have enough power? Um, I'm not impressed. I don't think this thing could take chili out. Come on. Now, this might have been a mistake. That was a great line. Put away those shark cards. I don't know if we saved any time there or not, but at least we, we found out that it's Really not as good as I'd hope. I thought this thing would be a monster zippering over anything. And it has its issues. It's it's very slow. I think this is the guy who uh, works in the back of your MOC by now. Whee! What the hell? And look at that one of those windows is shot out. It's not perfectly bulletproof. It's not... It hasn't got Karuma levels of... Armored Karuma levels of protection. Say that. Actually, my whole front window's gone. Of course, that could have been from me shooting the back of it. It is loopy. Oh, I don't know, I went through the big and obvious. Oh, should we, no, let's just not get back. Because there's people blowing stuff up over there for no damn reason. This is America. We drive in the Well. They're still staying up there, so I'm not getting pursued. 
This is still only one. Did it say how fast we're going? 55 miles per hour. We're barely breaking. We could maybe get this thing to 60. Get some curb boost on. That's... That's going to make for interesting times. This might be the worst vehicle. I don't know. Again, we're going to have to really plan to just zip off road with it. Exit arcade. No. Let's use our imaginations. Then we're going to go um, vehicles. I can't request per. Oh, it's a, it has already appeared. Hello. This guy wants attention or something. I wish I would drive in that. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's right there. It's about next to that other great car. You coming along? There you go. Hey. All right, things just got interesting. That's a good word. Krim Kipper, is he going to make it? I don't know, maybe. He just saying hi, Bernice. Well, who's this guy? Here for no reason. G Racing 40. Some hacker. No, I just went to a hacker that I got $2,000, but it's good behavior. So we got a hacker in session. They'll probably put the kibosh and do anything else. Like, but it's already after me. to wrap this up before I turn into a pumpkin. You know, what would be neat would be to do this with a um, cargo bob. But I don't know if we're near an airfield. I mean, getting a cargo bob in a situation like this. Whee! That should give him the option of taking the car. If anything, it gives him a weird, a weird afternoon. So now, what will be really funny is if he blows me up. With but I think I can tank the, all those missiles. Now, can we ghost it? We drop off the radar. Okay, I mean, the guy in my car probably knows where I'm going. But the guy in the oppressor Mark Douche won't be able to see me.
you know, they'll be like, hey! I could wait till the guy's really up way high and then, like, empty my vehicle. Ah! Let's just screw with him. But hey, let's, let's do goodwill kind of things here. This, I'm including all this because I don't know when something weird is going to happen. So this could be quite the nondescript trip. This thing is struggling getting up a regular hill. Would have been more interest interesting in the snow. And if I end up doing the actual heist sometime over the, the New Year's kind of weekend time frame sort of deal, if I have one of those days, I think I'll do this on uh, New Year's Eve. I do have New Year's Eve off. Hmm. Snow will be back. Then this will have been kind of a genius move. As everybody slides off the road trying to chase us and we're just zipping around in what I would hope would be a great snowmobile. Thirty-eight minutes, uh, 30 minutes, thirty-eight seconds of the ghost left. So we're gonna lose ghost going into the city, but we've all already avoided that press uh press all mock douche. So Let's see, can we get there in 20 seconds? I'm guessing not. We can get darn close. Again, I don't think I'd buy this puppy at a, at a list. I don't think I'd buy it at trade price. I think I might buy it on sale at trade price. Especially if it was a Twitch Prime sale, or was it really discounted? Oh, not today, sweetheart. I got stuff I'm trying to accomplish. Now. Losing some frames here, I don't know why. There was supposed to be a modder in the uh, game, so that's out of Fortune 8. Didn't even see that guy. Hey, it's definitely got an interesting handling characteristic. It's, it's very twitchy. Okay, is that the guy on the oppressor mark? Douche. Okay, we're visible, but we're close. Are we here? Oh my God! Retro arcade. And look at that success. That having been said, I don't think I'm going to do any more of these in a bulk session if I can avoid it. And there you have it, there they are. Your getaway vehicles can be upgraded or resprayed at any time while sat in the vehicle. But that's not really English, is it? Okay. Well, let's say we're going to use the, the young... Okay, upgrade level 3. And so, let's see. Installs race brakes, race transmission, and EMS upgrade. Upgrades from level one are also included. Starts a turbo with 100% armor. Upgrades level two are also included. Oh yeah, purchase the upgrade. 
respray. Remove library. How's it looking hot pink? Oh, we got more colors. Red purple, bright purple. What was what was young uh, what's his name's color? I think hot pink, right? Now what happens if we remove library? Looks like it's already been removed. We got bulletproof tires, we got the whole nine yards. Okay. So again, we're doing this you know, the young ancestor, what the is that the, the name of the guy? So we go up here. Absolutely, fully upgraded. How can we not? So this is all in keeping with my motif of how we're going to do this. We're going to be doing this as young ancestors buddies with any luck he'll get pinned for the whole thing and what is this where did I get this Camacho from why can I not get into it this must be the uh, the driver's car I mean, you know, that's that's just his wheels. Okay. Well, this is excellent. All right, we're done out. This is all they're painted in the motif of the young ancestor. These guys are hanging out. Yeah, see, that's the guy. Mark II Weapons Workshop. What's happening? I should be able to walk right up to this and use it, right? This is very nice. Being able to reload. from down here. I don't think I'd fired through that many of them. I may just never loaded it up. Alrighty. Excellent. Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, whatever, whatever that's exactly it. Idiot. We probably have to do a little bit more setup here. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it, first of all, in a uh, closed crew session. Or if you could change the approach. I guess you, maybe you can. I don't really want to. You want to get a vault door?
Doesn't seem to want us to do that. Oh, here. This is going to depend on which what we do here. Hmm. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we'll, we have more to consider here. Let's see. E D use the setup board. Let's see. Let's buy the rest of this. Vault door for how much? No, I'm not doing that. Wait, why do I go to black screen? Okay, we're out totally. In the hacking module, I can see. A million dollars for a vault door just so I can drill into it. We're not gonna, we, we could lose money on this. <sighs> All right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. There is one last thing. Whatever happened to my vehicle? You don't have an active personal vehicle. Okay. That means something bad happened to it. This is Morse Mutual Insurance. I can do that. Fair enough. <laughs>